All right, so I'm back with Donna. Donna, how have you been? Okay, hot. Better than last time. Better than last time? Eh, getting used to it. Except for the weather, it's so hot. Arizona sucks. What's been going on out here? Did you tell me that you got robbed recently? Constantly, went to Van Buren to try to get away from being robbed and Every time I turn around, they're taking my money, taking my food. It's crazy. The homeless out here are nuts. I guess they're afraid, you know, where their next meal is going to come from. You know, so they do what they got to do. I'm too old, you know, to be doing that kind of crazy. Yeah. Trying to get housing. It's hard. How's that going? Slow. You know, they say if you get a check and are disabled and on the streets they'll get you housing. They don't tell you it could be a year. So are you on the waiting list right now? What waiting list? There's no waiting list. You just gotta do jump through hoops, you know. You try but you can't do it all. But I'm working on it. <laughs> It's hard to get up in the morning to answer an alarm clock when you can't even, don't even have electricity to make the appointments, you know. They're supposed to pick you up and take you places, but they don't show up. So you're stuck. They don't even bring water anymore. You know, once a week they'll bring you some ice water and that's about it. They think you're supposed to live on it all week long. It's a little bit tough. Do what you can do. They even charge for water around here. You know, this lady at uh, Food City yesterday, I was three cents short for a bag of ice, so she made me go panhandle it before she sold me the ice. I couldn't believe it. That's messed up. We should be able to get free ice and water somewhere. You know, they opened up a new soup kitchen, though. It's really cool. You know, as long as they're open, they let you lay in the air conditioning and they feed you and stuff. It's pretty cool. I liked it. Where are you staying at now? Are you at a shelter? Why go to a shelter? Then you can't get housing. If you live at a shelter, then you don't need housing. Have you ever tried going to CAS? I went there to try to get help. They give you an ID. That's about it. You know, unless you want to live on their property. And I've heard worse shit there than that's on the streets, you know. People beating you up and taking your shit and, you know, it's just crazy. You know, they were supposedly opening a new shelter. Who wants to go there? If you go to a shelter, you can't get housing. You know, I don't want to live in a shelter for the rest of my life. I want housing. I get a check in, can't even use it. It's not enough to get a house by yourself. I don't know. I've never seen so many homeless people in my whole entire life as Arizona has. You know, they supposedly help you, but they don't. Only if you want to, you know, live in their little shelters and live their kind of life. If I want to be stuck, you know, in prison, I'd go to prison. I want to have my own place. It seems like the homeless <gasps> population is getting bigger out here, ain't it? Yeah, because, you know, we can't afford to live anywhere. Can't afford the food. I get $45 in food stamps because I don't pay rent. Where am I gonna pay rent for what I make a month for Social Security? You can't. You know, you're stuck right in the middle. And if you can't make it to these little soup kitchens, if you live too far away, you're stuck. You know, you gotta try to get there. Sometimes it's too damn hot or it's too damn far. You know, they don't even help you with bus passes. You know, they should at least let you, if you, you know, if they know you're homeless, they should at least let you ride the bus. You know, and if you can't get a reduced pass, unless you get online, who, how am I gonna get to a computer to get online? You know, to get a bus pass. I don't know. They tell you to go here for this, you know, there for that. They don't tell you it takes three months to get to that level where you can get anything. You know, as soon as you get an ID, somebody steals it. 
Every month I have to get a new food stamp card, a new fucking bank card. I'm sick of it, man. And they charge you for it. I had to pay $5 to get my uh, food stamp card because it's been stolen too many times. You think I want it stolen? Shit. I don't know. Arizona kind of sucks on their homeless help. They need to fucking, you know, catch up with the rest of the world. I lived in Texas and we, you don't see homeless people like this. Here, they're everywhere. There's not a neighborhood that don't have homeless people. They don't have nowhere to stay. They get kicked out of every spot they go to. You know, there's not enough room in shelters. Is there more help out there in Texas than here? Hell yeah. You know, if it's too hot, they put you in a stadium. You know, at least you can stay cool all day. If it's too cold, they do the same thing. Here, there's nothing. You know, if you don't live close to a food bank or a, a food place to eat, you suffer, you know? That's why everybody gets robbed, you know, because they don't have, they have no other way to get anything, you know? Maybe they should, you know, some of them people up there that think they're helping us should live out here like we do. You know, every day get kicked out. Gotta be up at the crack of dawn or you're, you have nowhere to go. What are you supposed to do all day? You know, it's, it's 115 degrees. I bet nobody else would sit out here all day like we do, waiting for it to get dark so we can lay down, you know, get off our feet. I don't know, I don't get it. Arizona just doesn't, I don't know, they don't want to help. It's like they think they're too good, you know, to help the homeless or whatever. Texas helps everybody. You know, they don't care if you're homeless or if you're rich. You know, you all got the same opportunities, but there's more places to go. You know, you don't see homeless people everywhere camped out. I've never seen a tent like this before, ever, where they actually live like that. You know, I'm not ready to buy me a tent. It'd be quicker than trying to get housing here. You know, they tell you to come to an appointment. How, do, how am I gonna wake up by eight o'clock in the morning if I have no alarm clock? You get a phone and somebody steals it. Well, because an Obama phone is if you can't keep it. You know, when I first came out here, I kept up my, you know, my regular phone service, T-Mobile, and all this shit. You can't do that here. You got your phone three days if you're lucky, you know. I've had mine a week. I'm shocked. You know, but I practically have to sleep with it in my underwear. If they don't steal those. Wash my underwear out, woke up, no underwear. You know, it's pretty bad when somebody's got to steal your underwear. You can't even keep a pair of underwear. You know, you can't afford to buy new ones. You can only afford them once a month and when you get a social security check or anything, you know, before somebody steals them. You know, what are they gonna do with a size zero clothes? How many people do you see in my size? None, but I'll bet you that 300 pound woman just stole my underwear. Why? So she can turn around and sell them to get what she needs. It's sickening. You know, we can't afford to go into a regular store like people because we don't have it like that. You know, they tell us to get a job. We can't do it, we don't have no clothes to get a job. Have no way to get to a job. They're, you know, it's just like a vicious circle. You're just stuck. Are you still out here working the streets? Of course. Otherwise I wouldn't eat. I didn't make a date last night, so I didn't eat today. I'm lucky some guy bought me a soda. We don't have water, we don't have nothing. They should at least have little stations where you can go if you're thirsty in the daytime to get a drink of water, you know? If you're lucky, you can find one of them fireplace things where the, you know, fire trucks will hook up to and maybe you can rinse off and get some hot water because there's no cold water around here. You know, Salvation Army brings them once a week. You know, about halfway through the day, that water's hot. It's not frozen anymore. We don't have a refrigerator we can put it in. You know, should you get a cooler, somebody steals it so they can put their water in it. You know, I must have had 70 coolers. You get, it gets old, you know, you can't afford to buy them. You know, if I get my check every month and buy a tent and a cooler, I'm still going to be stuck at the end of the month not having a cooler or a tent. Because somebody will steal it. So you got to sit in it all day in the heat or somebody will take it. You know, I don't know what to do. I'm just confused. Donna, if anybody 
watches this interview and they have some help for you, whether it's donations or any other sort of help, do you have any contact information where they can reach you? Right now, my mail goes to uh, 3255 North Third Avenue to uh, the Parsons Medical Clinic because I have no other way to get mail. Okay. You know, I have to order my new bank card every single month. Do you have an email? Uh, I don't even remember it half the time because I have to keep changing it. Because I get new phones and they won't let me use my old one. You know? I don't know. You don't use Facebook or nothing like that? I can't keep a phone long enough. Okay. You know? I've tried. All they got to do is look on 27th Avenue and you'll see us out there, you know, trying to make it. I don't have no clothes, I don't have nothing. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, Dr. Well, thank you for sharing your story. No problem, I hope it helps somebody. It. Are you okay with me putting this on my YouTube channel? Sure, no problem. All if right. it helps somebody, then it helps something, you know? Maybe people will start helping, and we won't, you won't see us on the streets. Make it easier for us to get places so we can get a housing. Okay. I guess water. That's the main thing. We're all dehydrated because that's why we're swollen. Because we can't even get a cold water. Nobody else wants to drink hot water, neither do we. Cold water would be great. Not asking for fucking food and all that shit. Just some water. Alright. Alright, thank you, Donna. I no problem. You.